Hello everybody, I wanted to do another quick uh, demonstration of using the Microsoft whiteboard. So if I go in to create a video, so I'm just going to create a new video, so actually I'll do that a little slower. So I've opened up my team, so I created a team, and what I do is I click the little video icon to have a meeting right now. So then I can put a subject in here and I'll call this uh, whiteboard demonstration. So I'll do this as whiteboard demonstration. I'll say meet now. And here I am, you know, with uh, my smiling face, blah, blah, blah. I probably should do my hair. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is uh, for this video, I'm going to actually mute my video because nobody needs to see me. Uh, so now you still have my audio. So I can mute my audio so I can work there. But um, that's a different subject. I want to look at the whiteboard. One of the, the keys that I can do that's really helpful here is I can use this share button. Now, I also have different actions here, but the share button will allow me to share any open applications on my screen as well as the Microsoft whiteboard. Now, the challenge is this whiteboard here has been giving me some issues lately. It's been crashing. So as I'm working with it, it'll just stop responding. So I'm not using that whiteboard anymore. What I've done is I've gone to the Microsoft website and I downloaded the Microsoft whiteboard application. So the Microsoft Whiteboard application will actually allow me, oh, let's uh, snag it. Hang on a sec. Let me grab that. So the Microsoft Whiteboard application is an entire application that gives me a whiteboard environment. Now, the cool thing about the Microsoft Whiteboard application is I get more pens. So when I first open it up, so go back here. So when I first open up a new whiteboard, it'll give me a bars at the bottom. I can choose pens. I can insert a picture. I can bring in a note and I can uh, put a menu item in there as well. So let's grab the pens. So now I'm in inking mode and what I can do is choose different colored pens. So they even have a cool rainbow pen, right? So I'm using my mouse to draw. Now I happen to have a little tablet that I use because I like to, to use the tablet, but it's fine. You can use your mouse. It's just as easy. And it's a little bit harder to, to spell with the mouse, but if I do something like, you know, I can do this, you know, with the mouse. Um, it's better for diagrams with the mouse. What I use is I use a little uh, tablet that I have here that I use for drawing. Um, not that I'm an artist. I, I do it for just actually for this. And, and so I can do a little bit better writing with a stylus, right? So it's, again, it's not perfect writing, but you can go in there. You can hold down the pen and, you know, it just gives you information on the pen, but I can also change the thickness of the pen, right? So maybe I don't want it to be quite as thick. I can make it a little bit thinner. I can change the colors of the pen. So I can go here and go, you know, purple. Um, actually, let me hold that down, right? So if I hold it down and then I can go back to a black pen, I can make it even smaller, you know, back to black which I think is an ACDC album. Anyways, so if I go in here and then I can use my eraser, I can erase things. Um, it's really handy if you bring in a picture, uh, if you want to do some sort of diagrammatic thing. So if I check that off and grab a picture, I can then browse into my pictures. So I'll just grab a little picture of an igloo, right? So there's a picture of an igloo, go back to my pen, and then I can have an interactive conversation. So I can say something like, maybe I'll hold this down, Right, hold down the black pen and you hold it and let go. Uh, went really thick here. I can say, you know, that's going to be my entrance to the, the igloo. And I can have a conversation, grab the, the red pen, and, uh, you know, that's the back of the igloo. What's really cool here is that if I go to erase, it actually erases the text and not the image, right? So if I want to get the image, what I can do is I can lasso the image. So I grip, grab my lasso. And just choose up oh, didn't do it so well there. Uh, grab my last sue here. Ah, one moment. So you just have to position. It's easier with the mouse to do this. But if I grab my um, my last sue here, what I can do is grab the whole image, and then I can actually delete it. Right. So kill the image. Okay. So that's working with the pens. The other cool thing, of course, is if I go back. Now I got rid of the image. If I bring in another image, so I'll just grab in. This image here, uh, if I grab this image in here, what I can also do with the pens is I can actually go in and maybe, you know, highlight things. So if I want to say, you know, uh, there's sharks out here and 
this here is too dark and you know I can add a critique and of course I'm going to use pens as well. Okay, you can also there's a little ruler in there where I can I can you know measure stuff. I mean not that I've ever used that very much myself. I can go back, 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 take things off. Right, so that's another way to clean things up. One of the things that I really like, and take the ruler off, one of the things that I really like about this whiteboard as opposed to the built-in whiteboard is if I go back, I actually save my whiteboards. So then what I can do is once I've got this whiteboard, I can actually go in there and I can invite people to this whiteboard. Not that I don't do that. I usually just share the screen uh, and show that. So within Teams, what I would do here is rather than use this whiteboard, what I do is I can go and share the Microsoft Whiteboard app. Now I'm actually sharing this in the team meeting and you can give control to it. If I go into my meeting here, I should go down here and just grab the meeting back. So now I'm in my meeting environment. That whiteboard is shared with participants. This is my screen and of course I can see my whiteboard. So my view is a little bit different. Their view would be a picture of the whiteboard and they can give control to it. The other thing you can do is once you're done with the whiteboard, right, you can go and export it out. And so I can take that whiteboard and save it out as a uh, PNG file. And you can put that as a, you know, saved file. So hopefully that was a helpful video and you had a chance to sort of see how to use the whiteboard. Uh, post comments on the video here on YouTube. Well, I have to go teach. Uh, post uh, videos on the YouTube here. And I'm happy to answer questions. If you know me from work, just send an email to my, my SATE email um, or contact me any way you need help. I'm, I'm always there to help. Thanks very much and have a good day. Let me close my recording.